It's odd to think that people had to fight to celebrate a festival, but that's a part of the historical background to Diwali in Durban. Zach, it's also a benefit of freedom that should not be forgotten as we celebrate 20 years of democracy. So let's catch the glow of the Festival of Lights in Etequin. The face of Durban is changing with new developments in the inner city. Some things though have a longer shelf life, like a run on the beach or Tevin's anticipation of Diwali festivities. Diwali is linked to the lunar calendar, so depending on the phase of the moon at that particular time of the year, it can either fall in October or November. But there's always one thing that remains constant, and that's the appearance of rain clouds. So even if it does rain on the parade, you can be assured that we're going to have a fantastic day today. I'm off to join the float procession. Diwali is also called Dipavali, and it's a major Hindu festival with an important spiritual message of good defeating evil and light overcoming darkness. So I'm really curious to see how a simple working truck or trailer can be transformed into such a rolling fantasy. As you can see, there's a lot of creativity and hard work involved, but I think we should talk to some of the float builders themselves. How much hard work goes into making such a float like this? Well, we spend a number of nights, days, weeks, hours doing that. This float is actually made by our Sabah youth. Our youth boys that are here on this truck with us as well has been completely from scratch, from the structure with wire work, up to the plaster of Paris, up to what you see today where the paintwork is done, where we have decorated the, the murtis, all are done entirely by our Sabah. Nothing was done outside, nothing is outsourced. We start a few days before the float and we talk about how we're going to decor, the, the colors that we're going to use and it's great because we have a wonderful team of people that are so willing to help. How would you say that your float played on the theme of 20 years of democracy? Okay, basically what we, what we stand for uh, at Sri Satya Sai Premanelium are the five human values. Truth, right conduct, peace, righteousness and love. So we have looked at the transition from the old South Africa into the new and that is why we have the old flag as well as the new flag and based on the five human values how we have transitioned from the old into new and to promote those five values that we continue to stay strong as a nation together. It was time for participants to take their places. So the flood procession is about to begin and the moment remains as exciting as ever. So why don't you join us as we go through the streets of Durban. When Durban's first Diwali procession was held in 1910, most of the chariots were drawn by people with some 4,000 citizens attending. Today, there's still a strong devotional aspect, as well as a strong sense of community involvement. What do you enjoy most about the festival today? Uh, actually, the most, I enjoy the most that there are a lot of people always come. And by seeing the crowd, it actually makes yourself happy because the Indians come out in their groups. So that's actually a very good part of it. I'm enjoying the feeling of unity and excitement and just having fun with everyone. Fortunately, the rain held off which seemed a good omen as the procession wound its way towards its destination. So we've just arrived at the Old Durban Drive-In, the location for this year's Diwali festival. Now, although the festival is of Hindu origin, in South Africa it's become a celebration of cultural diversity and tolerance. And that's exactly what this weekend's all about. Tevin met the president of the South African Hindu Mahasabha. Mr. Chikimji, could you tell us exactly what is the significance of the float procession? The float procession really sets the theme and the tone for the celebrations that are going to follow. Uh, each float has some kind of a theme which is celebratory, but also in keeping with the spirit of Diwali. And of course, the message of Diwali. This year, we chose as a theme, 20 years of democracy in this country. That was the spirit of Diwali is all about. Bringing joy into people's lives, having the triumph of light over darkness, all those are philosophical messages. But the real message is bringing people together and enjoying themselves. The Durban Diwali Festival reflects the multicultural realities of its home city. And the market is no exception. In case you're wondering, I'm looking for something to buy from my mum. Ah, cool. This is my fourth year I'm doing the Diwali Fair. 
and uh, we're actually very busy during Diwali period and it's actually very nice here. Many stalls offer what you'd expect at a typical mela all over the world, no matter whether it's winter or summer. So although the weather has been really unpredictable today, that hasn't stopped the Durban families from attending the event and the Diwali village is buzzing with a festive mood. So let's chat to some of the locals. So, so tell me, are you enjoying the festival yes, today? Well, I've just come in and uh, Diwali is always, always a period of mm. festival and, uh, and enjoyment. Just, just, you know, put on your best outfits and come out here and if you don't have the best outfits, there are plenty of outfits to buy here. <laughs> Press sugarcane would definitely be on the menu at a Mela in Mauritius. But there are also Durban stalls with a truly local flavour. Oh, it looks delicious. Thank you so much. The best part about coming to Durban is the spicy food. Something I really miss when I'm in Cape Town. It's a bit spicier than I remember. <laughs> but delicious. With the setting of the sun, you could see quite literally why Diwali is called the Festival of Lights. Now, you can see that I've taken a slightly more formal tone of clothing because of the fact that the opening ceremony is about to begin. So join me as we go inside for the official opening ceremony for the 2014 Durban Diwali Festival. Then the musicians gave way to the guests of honor. I bring you the warmest greetings on this joyous occasion of the Diwali celebration for the Hindu community. We have celebrated 20 years of our democracy and freedom together as a nation. And I trust that the Durban community will stand together for these values for another 20 years and beyond. entertainers today for the opening ceremony for the Durban Diwali Festival. Exactly how was that performing in front of thousands of people today? Well actually for me it was actually very interesting. I really enjoyed it. In a way it's something that we used to because I've been doing it from the time of childhood so it's just another opportunity for me. It was really an exciting experience. We, we loved it as artists. What do you most look forward to when it comes to Diwali? Um, I'd say obviously the sweet meats. <laughs> but uh, in general the actual festivities, meeting family, friends, and, uh, well, of course, the, the, the fireworks and stuff, so, yeah. The fireworks are always the Diwali highlight. They ripped and roared across the sky, and then the entertainment came back to earth again, because the festival goers were in a party mood. If you were thinking of a quiet evening, of contemplating in the moonlight, then don't come to the old driving, because there's a festival in progress, and the fusion party is about to begin. Young and old, Durbanites bop to fusion beats because, as always, everyone in the family shares in the Diwali experience. 